man, ain't this the day I get pulled into the scale? Find out what happened. How y'all doing today? Yeah. Got up first thing this morning. If you follow me on my Instagram channel, you'll see that beast of a truck. I'm, uh, I mean, the beast of an RV I'm pulling right now. Uh, man, it looked like it swallows my truck, but it only weighs 13,000. So, uh, it's pretty light to be so big. <laughs> Double axle. Uh, it's like I said earlier, got pulled into the weigh station today. Man, I'm still waiting on the DOT officer to come back, tell me what's what. Uh, walked around, did his checks, made his notes. No issues, pretty laid back guy. Um, easy going guy, he, he doesn't have an attitude. Um, so yeah, it's official. The Reaper got pulled in. <laughs> got pulled into DOT. So uh sorry, but dang, that sun is in my face and there ain't nothing I could do about it. Making me shine. Shining like a diamond. Yeah. <laughs> but uh that's what we doing. Um they pulled in what one? two i think it's two of us they pulled in three it's counting me and um i'm the only transporter pulled in they called me a hot shot and i had to correct i said no 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 not a hot shot i'm a transporter <laughs> he's like oh my bad it's all good but when they see the bed to lead on the truck they uh pickup truck pulling something they they quickly assume you were a hot shot, and it's like I told them. I said, "Look, I'm not a hot shot. I don't I don't carry any type of cargo, um, not any type of cargo, but different types of cargo. I transport RVs. That's all I am. I'm a I'm a transport. I'm not a hot shotter." And um, he was like, "Understood, understood." And he went through the inspection check, level one. Um, Told him it was a brand new truck. Everything squared away. That's the, this is the main reason why I tell you guys, do your pre-trips before you pull off in the morning. I do my pre-trip every morning. Every time, well, I ain't gonna say every morning. Every time I get up from my 10 hour break, I do my pre-trip before I pull off. So, uh, so if something like this happens, I already know I'm squared away. I already know everything is fine on my truck. Uh, check your tires, check your lights, check your uh, RV tires, your RV lights, uh, check your connections, um, make sure your paperwork is in order. And he was like, oh, whoa. He said, man, you're pretty squared away. You got everything organize uh set right yeah that's what i try to do i try to keep stuff together try to keep all your paperwork in the same location typically like with us we put everything in a binder so keep it in the binder put it in in those uh what they call those little plastic sheets uh sheet protectors Put all your paperwork in those sheet protectors. Put them in different sheet protectors. Sorry about that. Got a phone call from home. Um, what was I saying? But yeah, it makes it makes it easier for you to access all your documents. It's all in order. You don't have to be going through a bag, glove compartment. Um, under the seat, on the floor, that type of stuff. Everything's in one spot. 
So it's best to keep your stuff organized. Organized, organized, organized. Our stuff is really organized. Uh, we got it tabbed out for uh, our regular transport documents, our lease, our permits and insurance. We got our maintenance and we got our miscellaneous stuff put together. So it's typically, everything's typically good. And my bill of lading stays on the clipboard. So that's accessible. Everything stays within arms, arms reach of me. So uh, just waiting on him to come back to say, Let's see what he found. If you find anything, is everything good? Um, look like you just sitting over there chilling because I know it don't take this long to pull the info up. I don't know. He might be trying to print the paperwork out or something. I don't know. But, uh, oh, here he come. So let me check with him. I'll get back with you guys shortly. And I will let you know what the outcome is. All right. What's up, you guys? Yes. Y'all seen it? Y'all seen it? Did y'all see it? I don't know if y'all saw it. Y'all got to see it. I'm going to put it right here. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. The Grim Reaper has, has officially received his first, first, and I mean his first level one sticker of approval. Yes, sir. I yes, yes. That yellow number one sticker on the truck. In 800 feet, keep left to continue toward I-57 South. And we're going to give a shout out to Officer Cooper. Good DOT officer. Positive attitude. I had no issues with him. He's, he's what you call the standard for a DOT officer. Kind, courteous. He makes you feel like you and him go way back. <laughs> All right, clear the scale. Keep left. Yeah, he makes you feel like, man, he's been expecting you for years, you know? In a quarter mile, merge onto I-57 South. And uh, it was perfect. We passed, we passed the inspection. Got the sticker. We're good to go. Say we're good for three months. That's a good thing, but I gotta get one for my trailer, my 53 foot trailer. So I might have one for my truck, but I ain't got one for my trailer. Continue on I-57 South for 68 miles. So, but who knows? They might credit it for both of them because my trailer's brand new. I always look my stuff over my trailer. My stuff on my trailer is always um, my truck, my uh, my stuff in my trailer is always squared away. So it should be perfect. Um, It killed me on some time though, but it's worth it. It was worth it. I can't argue. Um, but yeah, no worries. The Grim Reaper is still rolling. Everything was in order. The truck was in order. The camper was in order. We're good. Oh, one other thing about doing your uh, DOT inspection, and I think I left it out of my DOT inspection, so I think I'm gonna do another DOT, um, I'm gonna do another pre-trip inspection, I mean, because I think I left it out of there, but you have to check your trailer brakes on your camper. 
uh, because that was one of the inspections that, that, it, uh, that he had me perform. Turn the gain all the way up, squeeze them, and pull forward. So that, uh, I, I believe I had left that out of my pre-trip inspection. So, uh, I think what I'm gonna do later on today, I will put it into my pre-trip. I will do a pre-trip on the video. I might end this video just right here, or this is gonna be uh, a DOT review slash uh, pre-trip just to make sure that everybody's on the same page so you won't get busted when you're uh when you get pulled in for dot because uh since it's the first of the month i didn't think about it <laughs> yeah I, I forgot the day was the first uh they they snatching they snatching in anything that looks like a hot shot um what's up y'all um i'm editing the video and i just realized it's not it wasn't just the first of the month but it was um it was the beginning of the uh what did he tell me it was the beginning of the next quarter so they were bringing it they they were snatching in hot shots or anything that looked close like a hot shot in to do inspections on they had a couple of big trucks but that was about it and it's the easy we're easy he even said it. he's like man when 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 uh when you got guys like you so squared away it's easy to run through a hot shot and that's when i that's what i told him not a hot shot i'm a transporter just to clarify something i have nothing against hot shots i wanted to be a hot shot but i got Put on with RV transport, and I'm kind of happy with it. Um, there's nothing wrong with hot shots. I, whoever's watching this, don't be trying to start that beef mess because I love hot shotters. Man, I follow a lot of hot shotters on YouTube, so don't please don't start that. The only thing was, I was explaining to the DOT officer there was a difference between RV transporters and hot shots, and that was it. All right. <laughs> and um, he's like, well, typically it's easy when uh, when we run through it with you guys. Uh, as long as your stuff is in order, all your paperwork and your documentations, everything is in order. Um, you got everything set up to where you can get to it. Um, I, I typically already knew what he was going to say about what he wanted to check, how he wanted to do it. High beams, low beams, left, right, brakes, brakes, uh, left, right, left, right. He, see, he sees my uh, fire extinguisher hanging over in the corner. Um, and by me being so squared away, he didn't ask me about my triangles, but I do have my triangles. They under my bed on the passenger side. So, Officer Cooper is still good. He's good. Anybody from DOT watching it, he's still good. My, my triangles are in the truck. No ifs, ands, buts about it. And since I just put Officer Cooper out there like that, when I stop today to, to start my 10 hours, I will do a pre-trip to this video, show you a pre-trip, and let you know that uh, I have my triangles. I'm not going to leave Officer Cooper out there hanging like that. That's my bad, man. I ain't mean to do that, but I do have my triangles. Uh, but since I'm so squared away, hey, You'll throw them off like that. That's no problem. Uh, so, all my viewers and my subscribers, remember, pre-trip, pre-trip, pre-trip. It's important. Save your money. Because if you don't do a pre-trip, you paying out the wazoo. You feel me? All right, so uh, that's it for the pre for the uh, DOT inspection. <laughs> hey, Lady Reaper did good today. She did good today. No leaks. Everything worked. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. But 
I'll get back with you guys a little later for the pre-trip. Good morning, good morning. Well, getting up, getting up, getting up. Uh, it was too tired yesterday to do that pre-trip <laughs> video, but I'm doing it this morning. Uh, uh, just an update on this part of the video. I had already did my pre-trip and I remembered I didn't record it for you guys. So I'm going back over a quick pre-trip just to show you what all I go through. Uh, starting off by checking all the lights. Checking under the vehicle. And what I'm checking under the vehicle is like for fluid leaks. Checking the tires. Once again, I'm slipping. <laughs> I keep doing these add-ins. Um, for those of you that haven't seen my previous pre-trip video, I check my tires uh, from the inside because I do have a uh, electronic uh, tire pressure system on my tires so I could check them from inside the truck, the tire pressures on my truck. Uh, on the trailers, I use an air gauge to check the, tra uh, the trailer tires. No obscene wear patterns. Checking my truck. Checking the trailer. Making sure there's no damage. I'm also checking to make sure my pins are still locked. And I will check them on the other side as well. And if you haven't been following me, A lot of you guys might be like, okay, why is there tape on the doors for the trailer? If, if this is your first time following me, this is a way that I assure that I know no one has went in my trailer. Um, or tried to break into the doors of the trailer. Because in some areas, you will find that people will try to break in these trailers to steal whatever's in the trailer out of the trailer. And um, that's an easy, it's an easy and cheap way to uh, let you know if anybody been in the trailer. We're checking the real lights on the trailer, make sure they flashing. These are the things, if you don't know, on these trailers, if you turn your flashes on, if they flash, your turn signals work as well, and your brakes work, because they both are codependent. Uh, and then you always want to check your trailer over, no matter what, I don't care. You want to make sure that nobody back into your trailer while you asleep. Some of you will be like, oh no, I would have felt it. No, sometimes these big trucks are back into you and scrape your trailer or just barely touch your the glass of the trailer, causing it to crack. And um uh, you wouldn't know about it until you got to the dealership because you didn't check. Now, I'm checking my truck lights, making sure they work. That's on 
the back of my truck. And since I have a headache rack, I check them too. Because according to DOT, if you have lights on the truck and they don't work, they can cite you for them. I'm checking my pins on my fifth wheel and I'm checking the pin that locks my fifth wheel. I'm also checking the jaws on my fifth wheel. Making sure my connections are still tight. And I'm back. Of course. Oh. Uh, I also check my fluids in my truck. Um I check my oil check my brake fluid and I check my um and I check my um dang it's five o'clock I gotta get on the road and I check my um uh, windshield wiper fluid swing the wedge and clean the windows a little bit yeah cause I'm trying to beat this Dallas traffic and I really don't want to be in it I messed around and overslept a little bit. <laughs> but um, that's all good. So, that is my pre trip for the day. Pre trips aren't long, but you gotta get them to last for about 15 minutes. get them last for about 15 minutes take your time that's the reason why I say check <laughs> there is no hurry don't rush check your, check your stuff get it out of the way all of that and you make sure those things are working properly there's no issues and make sure you got all the right equipment oh shoot I forgot I gotta do this other thing for for uh, Officer Cooper so Nobody think I was lying. Let's go around here to this door. And I will show you. Might need my light. That's when I say I got something, I got it. All right, we're on the passenger side of my truck. All right. See the red box? See what it say? The reflective triangles. I don't lie when I tell you stuff. <laughs> everything that I'm supposed to have to pass a DOT inspection and you can see my fire thing from my passenger side so yeah I am legit so I gotta get on this road get the day started if I didn't tell you guys 
I am headed back to Texas. I had to move a unit for my company, which I have no problem doing, none. Whether it be a favor or not, it's just a fact to show them that uh, I'm a team player. You can count on me when you're in a bind. As long as I'm in the area. <laughs> uh, make sure you do your logs when you do your pre-trip. Um, that's what I'm doing now because I almost forgot to do my pre-trip inspection. And it's done. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, share my videos. All right. If you have any questions, you want me to talk about something different, put it in the comments below. Send me an email. My email's below. And I will do my best to answer your questions and to speak on your topic. <laughs> That's no problem. But like I always say, since I gotta go, I gotta go. Cause y'all know, man, it feels crappy out here on this road, man. It gets real grim, like I always say. Sometimes you don't even want to get out of bed. Like I said, I, I overslept a little bit. I really didn't want to get up. But I gotta get this delivered. It's good. It, what is this? It's good Friday. So I have to get it there today. Um so Fun town RV way. So, like I always say, the road may be grim. But what does TC do? I'ma reap that money all day! All day! You feel me? <laughs> so y'all get out here and reap that money too. Holla at you.